I've been painting poetry by the Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish for the past two years in different cities around the world. Um, the poems are sometimes selected based on the place where I'm painting or based on what I feel needs to be said to the world at a certain moment in time. So the poem I selected for Shangila is uh, entitled The Response of the Red Indian to the White Man. And uh, the stanza that I've selected uh, reads, my people will return as air, light, and water. And, and I noticed that there's no fire. It's water, wind, and light. A peaceful struggle is the most difficult struggle, to keep it peaceful and not, uh, and, and not use violence. So I'm painting Mahmoud Darwish because he is the poet of resistance. And um, he might have highlighted the, uh, the Palestinian uh, condition, but if you read his poetry, it really relates to everybody. To me, what's even more important than the artworks and the place, it's actually the people. I think, I think what Shangri-La has to offer the world is a dialogue that is much needed. What inspired me to do what I do is injustice. To me, uh, actually, I did everything I could do to avoid being an artist. I studied graphic design, and then I studied Islamic art history. I became an academic, and I did uh, everything possible not to be an artist. But honestly, I found art to be, not, right now, it is my only tool to communicate the injustice that's going on around me and to talk about it, to highlight it. That's why street art is so interesting because you're not, the conversation is not dictated. It's alive and it's also ephemeral. Islamic art is on the windows. It's in the bedroom. It's in everything around you. It's in your daily life and this is how it should be. In Shangri-La, it's a museum that is alive. The courtyard in, in any Islamic house is like the lung of the house. This is where you breathe. And I think within the museum, it's playing exactly that role. It's the way the natural elements of sky and water and wind play within the space uh, that, is, that I find really beautiful. It would really make the world a much better place if we can all live with beauty. To me, Shangri-La is a piece of heaven. <laughs>